two winners, and then losing 3-0 to Y Delirious, who's sitting at winner's side. Uh, and then he had to beat um, Noxtim, the Mewtwo main, to make top eight. So um, definitely putting in lots of work himself to earn his spot here in top eight. Excited to be here. And again, going with the Enderman State. And you were right, you called it. Palutena yeah. versus uh, Steve over here. I mean, Monkey Boss is a slew of characters, but Palutena has got to be one of the ones that's just so solid against Steve. Since we're day one. Yeah, we're hopping right in here. Game one, top eight, Kumite in Tennessee, 2021, Smash Ultimate Singles. And yeah, Murph sticking with the Steve. Honestly, like, <laughs> <laughs> if he wins this, uh, it's going to be it's gonna wild. Be yeah, no, 100%. And uh, doing a solid job, trying to get his materials built, but Maki Bus putting on the pressure, not giving him too much space to breathe. Yeah, honestly, Steve's love to build that wall in there in the corner, and people feel like, well, what do I do with that wall? Well, first of all, you need to break those blocks. You see, Maki Bus did a great job with the dash attack, getting rid of the blocks, so you can apply the pressure and the down tilt the back air. 100%. You don't have to worry about the blocks if you can't give him the chance to breathe. <laughs> and again, see, he breaks the blocks, so there's space, and then he, like, He's supplying pressure just by positioning. Yeah, 100%. Comes back in later on. Because if you don't have that to feel comfortable, you can't get the loot you need. Ooh, going way too risky with that up smash there. Something I realized about the matchup that I didn't even think about until now is that the back air and dash attack of Palu just wrecks Minecart. 100%. Which, like, Minecart you feel like is really good for Steve against most characters. Palutena able just to bypass that completely. Yeah, no, she doesn't even have to worry about getting through the super arm. Like, you're going to have to worry about that up here recovery. Yeah, unfortunate SD for Makiba is able to opt over going to the wall. Not letting that Despacent, not letting the uh, first stock SD get to him. Oh, re-grab. Oh, missed punish for Makiba. Doesn't matter too much. Still gets a dark attack off the ledge. Ooh, getting a little bit going here, Murph. And Murph uh, just, you know. Smart. <laughs> yeah, just decides to stay back, hold center stage, mine some more. Uh, misses the confirm into another jab forward air. Deciding the thought, battle right now. Yeah, Maki's trying to get back to center stage, finally gets it, but. Ooh, a little too close, running out of materials. Does not have the iron for the anvil. Oh, but he gets diamond. He'll be Is saving he that it? for next, Doc. For I was sure. about to say, probably doesn't want to waste that too early. Okay, grab from Makibash. Try and even the stock out. Oh, Avoiding but the ledge trap. Getting a little bit of damage on top, too. An immaculate guy from Maki to avoid the up smash finisher on that combo. Ooh, finally starting to get the materials he needs. Ooh. And again, that back air just beating out Minecart. Murph's got to be aware of that. Yeah, big time. Um, is able to get the diamond built up. Going for a second one. Yeah, honestly, people are so afraid of giving uh, Steve diamonds. I mean, it's a frightening thing. It, this damage is going to start amplifying very quick. I think I think the less afraid you play and the more you understand that he's most likely going to get diamonds, I think like you'll play better. So I like Maki's like conservative play here. I also like you were talking about Maki breaking the walls instead of just trying to run into them. Slow. <laughs> it's a slow thing, but it's working for him. Okay, up air. Oh, tries to counter maybe an anvil. He was, he was definitely anticipating the anvil coming down. Would have killed, too. Wow, that's such a crazy move, that minecart. Being able to jump out and activate the hitbox again. Unfortunately, Anvil getting beat out by the Nair there. Okay. Both has to be very careful with this recovery. Another Ooh, back air. Back, another back air. That's been solid, like you said. Regrab, but no punish for Maki. Able to get him off stage one more time, though. Gonna mix up triangle high. He has to find a way off this ledge. And Murph keeps regrabbing with no punish for Maki boss. I, mean, it's I think he does not want to give up that corner. He, he wants to keep him at the ledge. I understand. Like, I'm not. He's here and I'm not. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know but uh, you still wonder. Definitely. Trying to get these back airs in. Running out of the diamond. Has a one on his pocket. Another not going to get the time to mine, though. It's honestly so close. I don't think he'll let him craft it. One well-placed smash attack from Murph should take it as well. Even a back air, to be honest with you. That diamond dust pack. Oh, no! he gets him with the explosive flame. And Coming it blows down. up the TNT, too. That's a, that's a double win. I think he's yeah. his, his percent shot up. That's great coverage. And honestly, that's another thing about the matchup that I didn't even think about, is that Murph loves to go for those TNT ledge traps sometimes. And explosive flame just totally beats that out. Like, oh, because he has to set it up while Maki Boss is falling. So he doesn't grab a ledge 
immediately and, and bypass hit, so it's super risky now. It's not, well, I don't even think it's an option that he's going to want to go for, because if he does get hit, that's a solid 40-50% of both the explosive flame and the TNT exploding. Um, however, I think with that game, it was super close. I definitely think that Burp was doing a little bit better in the fighting when mm -hmm. he didn't have to try and camp, yeah. uh, when he started shooting those percents back up. He's got to figure out something to do now that he can't do minecart as much, though. So those back airs and dash attacks are eating it. It's honestly wild how close that game was, because I feel like Maki Boss had the momentum the whole set. Like, had stage control most of the time, but it was dominant, really. And Murph was just able to sort of slowly inch his way back, almost able to take the game, but Maki Boss up 1-0 here. And he, I think he really started doing damage when he got Diamond. Uh, diamond. diamond being something that, yes, he is going to get, but the moment he does get, you could end up dead in like a three or four exchanges, whereas Wood is not going to do that. Mm -hmm. The copper and the wood are not there. Yeah. Let's see if we go back to the stage. No, we're going small battle through here. Three, two, and we got the music one, counter pick go. coming from Murph. Oh, you know, can he recover? Oh, uh, yes. he can, he can. Murph's got those recovery angles down pat. It looks like it. He hasn't dominated losers with Z for nothing. Again, that double hit on the minecart is so, you have to be wary of that. And you gotta try not to, uh, you get hit by it, but you don't want to shield it right after you get caught inside of it. Great cross up back air and up air strength. And honestly, Makibaz DI'ing those up airs really well to be able to keep avoiding that up smash finisher that Murph wants to go for. Solid carry, but nothing out of it. Makibaz coming out with the back air again. In a, a, an early lead for Maki Boss in this game, too. I think not having card as an option is, is really starting to pressure. Yep. That's honestly one of Steve's best tools. And looking at this matchup again, after seeing this set, it's like, ooh, oh, oh, oh. what? He, he landed, landed on, the block. on the block. That was so close. That was really close. Murph accidentally saving Maki Boss, but able to get the stock there. Still smash. found a way, not letting it get too far away from him. I want to see more of those edge guards. That was really nice. Yeah, I think Murph is going to need to start pulling out stuff like that if he wants to be able to win this set. That's that versatility of Steve. He got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Maki Boss still dominating here on this ledge. Solid up tilt. Shield damage into a straight combo, 48%. Yeah, getting hitting with that back hit of up tilt pretty much guarantees the up smash. Crazy. Finally able to lift that hair. But Makiba is still applying the pressure. Jab one into the fair. And I love the wait from her. Even better, hitting his own uh, crafting box to try and extend that hitbox. Okay, wait. Tomahawk, down throw back air, almost gonna do it for Makiba. Sealed his second stock. Smooth with those angles. There on a shield. Making sure he doesn't get caught going high. Oh, Murph. <laughs> yeah, Murph with the parry. Oh, and an no. unfortunate SD. He did use his double jump there to get that. Lucky Boss did have one of those last games, didn't let it get too far from him. Oh, he wanted the back air. You know he wanted to go through and back air, but actually gets the forward jump instead. Smart stop not jumping there for Murph. Hit him with the hand. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, yeah, the fist. <laughs> out of all the weapons today. Still alive, just hanging on by a thread. Murph is bold today. Yeah, re-grabbing with the block there. <laughs> it's actually not counted as a re-grab because he's still touching ground. But a beautiful trunk from Matthew Buzz. And now, he's got, uh, he has no time for the shenanigans. Yeah. No time. Nice plug. <laughs> <laughs> He goes for the gold here. Okay, that's the first time Maki's really been aggressive out of the wall. Maki has to be careful because the stuff is getting a little big. Okay, there's but hanging up there. Nice lots of damage. Lots of damage could lead to something huge for Maki, guys. Continuing, still in the advantage here. Okay, Murph really trying to roll an aggressive option from Maki, but Maki's being super patient this whole set. Okay. Murph running away. Minecart gonna get punished this time. You gotta be careful. I think the durability of those weapons is going down pretty fast. Sneaking oh! fast that and getting his own up F smash. Yeah, just a bit late on that forward smash from Maki buys. And Murph barely able to roll behind and get an F smash in return. Man, that's crazy.
That was a solid play because one frame earlier and that definitely could have gone Maki Boss's way. Yep. Yep. But that's how the that's how it goes sometimes. It is. It It'd is. be I like that. A lot of close matches. Yep. We're gonna see a lot of close matches today. It's one one. Murph taking that game. Uh, but that was close. You know, even with the SD from Maki, like he was bringing it back. I mean, both both games, you saw whichever player had the lead, sort of was starting to lose it, and then able to finally clutch it out. Clutch it out, exactly. Yeah. And I think honestly, these SDs coming from Maki. It was. It will speak to that whole. You said he had the pacing at the first few games. Mm -hmm. It maybe if he wasn't SD, that could be where it's coming from. Uh, it's he's giving uh, the opportunity for him to catch back up. Oh, and just so anyone knows, uh, Dave's salty rule, or is it stupid? I think it's the salty rule, or stupid rule, whatever. Whichever one it is, is not an effect in this tournament. So Maki was totally within his rights to go back to PS2, which might be a good option. I think that was a definitely a great stage for him. Solid strength coming off. Oh, yeah. Retreating a little bit so he can get that last bit of damage. You saw Murph try to build the block right next to the ledge, but it wouldn't let him. And it does a great job of blocking Palutena's up. He thinks it doesn't have a hitbox. Yeah, he still hasn't taken any percent yet. Maki barely avoiding that board smash. Ooh. So we've been seeing mind parts start to come out as burst options when you're too close instead of as you approach. Really hard to react to. Maki was center stage, and I agree. I think. Being too aggressive against stage can really lead to some bad stuff happening. Grab. No back throw. Movement, movement. Oh, and that's a solid punish. Up smash is going to take that any day. You have to know that he didn't want that forward tilt on the platform. At all. Murph capitalizing, though. And he's got diamond now. That was 59. 59 with diamond. This is why we don't afford it. What's oh, going on? What's oh. Going on? <laughs> if, that had, if that had blown up, that would have been godlike. Hilarious. <laughs> Slow block breaking. Okay, good forward airs to wall out Murph. Not too much, not too much. Maki really trying to get something off of this stock. Needs it out soon because it's already about to be lapped. Walk back jab, no look jab. Oh, unfortunate. That's a quick punish too. Mm -hmm. A little risky there. But getting it the second time round. That's kind of putting in lots of work. And Murph looking really strong this game three. And Makiba's not able to land nearly as many back airs on that minecart this game. I don't see it or dash attack. Which honestly has been the big main game changer. A big game changer. At this point, going to 60% on the last stock, Maki has to figure out something to close this out to. Now it's an unfortunate trade for Maki. You know he doesn't want to take those. But an aggressive grab. Nice, getting the first stock. That's like the first time Murph has rolled and Maki was able just to cover it like that. Already knows, already knows. Okay, Maki not giving up. Oh, well, that is. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> False minute. You know this game. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, what? It almost beat through the fire. <laughs> well, yeah. well. Great a, block by uh, Murph. Block, a great block yep. by Murph. I yeah. see yeah. You I like that double on Thunder? <laughs> That's solid, and that's something that uh, Maki has to really keep in mind. You cannot get edge guarded. You can't even be knocked off stage because you're not going to come back. That was honestly a, a mountain for. It's 2 1 Murph. And it's uh, best of five. Yeah, best of five. So we still got two more games to go here. Man, that, was, that looked rough for Maki. Guys. That was rough. Yeah. And I think we need to see. The first game had it. That's the exact same stage. What what was the switch up there just now? Like, I mean, honestly, I feel like. Murph was changing his timing a little bit, especially, you know, deciding when to go for minecart, when not to. I think the bigger thing was that Maki wasn't, like, as clean on that game. I think it was just, I don't know if it was a mental thing or what, but that first match that we saw him, solid. he, like, hit every single minecart or back air, had it on pad, and then I don't think Murph really changed a ton. Maybe, maybe slight timing, but, like, I didn't see nearly as many back airs. Game three, that I did game one, where Maki totally dominated. And honestly, I think um, the back airs and the Murph did switch up the timing in which he wasn't using minecart to recover. They were using minecart to burst stops and to punish you for something. So even if you're far away from me, I'm going to hit you with this really strong gold um, minecart, and you're off the stage not getting the edge guard set up. And as we saw, you can't afford that edge guard set up as Palutena. You have nothing to do against blocks. No. If you have to recover wide, that's just gonna that's gonna get you. You know. Oh, the switch to Sheik.
not okay. even not even wanting to let them camp. Not even wanting to get materials. Three, two, We're thanks. rushing this down. Yeah, I don't oh. disagree with this. Um, I like. He was definitely practicing it earlier with Mage, um, his fellow Mimpian. It's a shame that that was only 27 percent because it looked like a lot. More. I know, right? <laughs> I love Sheik in this game, but she at the play Sheik is. Uh, can be difficult at times. Not the walk. <laughs> yeah, Sheik has had like that perfect weight and fall speed. Or I think it's fall speed. Yeah. Uh, to get smacked around by those. And I honestly think it, it might take a few too many exchanges and slowdown for Maki switching this. Because Sheik may not have the damage output um, that Palutena was going to bring to the table. Oh, well, yeah. Smash you it up. You always, the first instinct is to shield that minecart, but it's actually, when Steve jumps out of it, it's a command grab that will just snag you right up, leads to a free conversion. A strong one at that, because up smash out of minecart will into life. Yes, it will. Good wait from uh, Maki and jumping away from the minecart. It's crazy, because I felt like Maki got hit harder by that exchange. <laughs> oh, oh, almost getting the up there. That was a clean down tilt for Maki, but unable to get anything out after it. I love it. Just, just escaping the pressure. And now he's got the corner. Maki using this movement on point. But Murph not even caring. I'm, I'm going to get my materials if you want to. He's going to find a way through the ledge. Needs a weapon soon. Oh, but he's out of the sword. Just right now. I think Maki knows that and is watching that box like a hawk. <laughs> he's mining with his hand. He's out of materials or out of uh, utensils. Needing to get something. Doesn't want to do diamond just yet because of the end of the stock. I'm going to go off the hands. I wonder why he hasn't shielded and uh, dropped a new box yet. I, I think he doesn't want to build anything. He wants to wait for the next stop. Oh, or, yeah, okay. That's fair. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Because if you build, he'll build diamond. He'll build diamond and then immediately lose it. Yeah. yeah. Maki able to finally get that stock. but uh, Oh, and he misses the box. No free Getting diamond. Massive damage out of that, 43%. That's actually huge for Maki right now. Now going for it. Yeah, but Maki gets a free punish off of it. Like, that's... It's going to be pretty difficult. I don't know. I think the 26% uh, Wow. Huge damage for Maki. Wow. That was fresh. That was fresh. Using the grenade to blow up the TNT. Turn this all the way around. Now, even though Maki has a slight percentage lead, honestly, Sheik being so light and Steve hitting so hard. You're not going to be able to afford it. You yeah. cannot afford that. A tie game is not a tie game. Steve using that crazy evasion Steve is known for to get past this edge guard oh, for no. Maki. Oh, wow. That catching, the recovery, that anvil hits so hard. And Maki, one stock away from getting knocked out of the tournament. Has to be careful. Going for a quick fair. And Murph is racking up the percent on Makibaz. Let's see what kind of edge guard we get here from Murph. Going for forward smash. Got a second diamond for the next stop, so he's really not too concerned. Yeah, and this is honestly another uphill. Being behind against Steve is really hard to go, especially when he has the materials to do whatever he wants. It's really difficult. Ooh. That anvil will put... Great the eye coming out of Maki just now. Yeah, one more of those and Maki's out of here. Not wanting to waste that diamond. Rather fight off the hand. I love seeing the nub. That's so smart, right? I think most players would just be like, oh, I need some material. Is anything better than just my hand? But he, has, he still has a sword. I didn't see that he still had the sword. And the axe. Unfortunately, Axe only being active for an up tilt. I think if he goes for a raw forward smash, that could be it. Any smash attack right here will do it. That up smash, very sneaky. We haven't seen down smash yet, but he might just pop it out. Yeah, I think uh, the mobility of Sheik is probably good enough to where... This is where that kill power is, is just that Palutena would have been a little bit... He would have been dead by now. Yeah. Ooh, I but getting with the back air. Yeah, yeah. I say 2020 though, you know? Oh, 100%. Movement is coming in handy. Um, <laughs> the slow breakaway. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, that's smart. Maki 
knows that like if he's too aggressive here, he's gonna lose the stock, lose the set, get knocked out of the tournament. I really hate to say it, but in all honesty, time is an F is a mattering factor. We're already at two minutes. He's gonna have to figure out something. Okay. Seven percent. Oh, that might not be good. That was an up and around. <laughs> Makibaz losing 3-1 to Murph. Murph continuing the losing rampage with Steve. Crazy stuff with just saw Enderman to be specific. Um, with the uh, diamond, like I, I think that if anybody's letting him get to that stage, you're probably gonna lose that stock within the next two hits. Like it's not strong, it's not the hardest one to get for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you can't like wood is weak, like he does a little bit of strings, but he's not gonna kill you. Those diamond back airs and those diamond fairs will end you. Yeah. I think we had discussed that. You know, maybe he should have switched off of Sheik, but his game plan from game one was so solid. And yeah. game two was going really well, too. Unfortunately, dropped the game two. Game three, you know, it, he just wasn't playing to his same. game plan. Yeah. And